Hi, my name is Devin and I used to do drugs. Let's talk about it. My history with drugs goes very far back, super extensive. If you can name a substance, I've probably fucking done it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna be telling y'all some fun, not so fun stories about uh, me doing some stupid shit. Hey kid, you wanna talk about Devin doing heroin? I certainly fucking hope so, cause that's what we're doing. So. The first time I did heroin, it was a burrito aggression fueled adventure. Let's fucking talk about it. So I hit up my friend, I give him a call. Yo, what's up? Yo, I'm free today. What are you doing? Yo, I have to go to fucking work in like three hours. Bet I'm on my way right now. Boom, bam, kaplam, the plan has been set. The homie is on his way. We are going to kick it before I work. Boom, bam, that's the fucking move. He pulls up and uh, he's looking a little bit worse for the wear, to be real. You know, he kind of looks like shit. I ask him, what's going on? Oh, nothing, man. I, I just didn't sleep good the other day, you know, like whatever, whatever. We're chilling at my house for maybe like two hours before I have to go to work. And I notice he has went to his car nine times, even though we have went out and smoked cigarettes like six times. Interesting. What are you doing in there, bud? to find out after a lot of pressing for me this motherfucker is putting some black tar heroin on some foil lighting that bitch up and smoking her good and to be real looking at me or me looking at him i wanted some of that shit too so i pull him like to the side on some like yo let me hit that shit fam let me hit that shit unfortunately for me he let me hit it and i did heroin for the first time i did heroin Forgot to say that my friend also brought his friend with him. He has been a part of the session. He has been chilling with us as well. There are three people involved in the situation. After my first time smoking fucking heroin, we go back into my fucking house and my homies are hungry. They're like, yo, let me get a burrito. So I start cooking these motherfuckers up some burritos. As I'm cooking these motherfuckers up their burritos, I go to the bathroom, give yourself that like that in the mirror stare after you do a new drug like. You know what I mean? You give yourself that stare real quick just to make sure you're fucking there, you know? <laughs> so I'm cooking these bitches some burritos. I hear the microwave beep. I don't give a fuck because I'm on heroin at 17 years old. And, uh, I just hear the microwave beep and I think nothing of it. You know, these are fucking older dudes. They're like my age. They, they should know how to get the shit from the microwave, right? Wrong. The motherfucker that my homie brought ate his fucking burrito. I don't know if you've ever fucked with a heroin addict's burrito, but that is the last fucking burrito you want to fuck with. I watched my homie kick the shit out of his fucking friend in my fucking living room about this fucking heroin burrito. Don't do fucking heroin. Oh, and then I went to work and I got sent home for being too fucked up. It was a fucked up day. So that was heroin. Now let's talk about fucking Benadryl because just look at me. Don't I look like the type of motherfucker that would be taking 800 milligrams of Benadryl? Cause I was, I was, and I did that shit on the rig, brother. I was getting fucked up, bro. So I take 800 milligrams down the fucking hatch. I'm home alone at my house for the weekend. My parents are gone. Obviously, I was a teenager doing this shit at the time. I'm a grown-ass adult now. Very long time ago. Like, probably like 12, 13 years at this point. They're gone. Okay. I don't know if you've ever taken Benadryl to get high. But if you do, and I don't know why. No one knows why. But it makes jerking off feel fucking amazing. So... Obviously, I was spanking that shit, like fucking, I was fucking going in on it, you know what I mean? So, I uh, thought I was doing all that in my bedroom, right? You know, like, you jerk off in your fucking bedroom, or maybe in your bathroom, or maybe in, like, your designated jerk-off room, if you have that many rooms in your house. Anyway, fucking, I was jerking it, and I thought I was in my bedroom, right? And to be real, dude, I was feeling real dirty that day. I didn't give a fuck. I just let my nut fucking ride, dude. I just let it ride. I was gonna clean it, the fucking, like, clean it later. I was addicted to Benadryl, dude. I don't give a fuck where my nut goes. I wake up the next fucking morning, and instead of it being, like, in my bedroom on the hardwood floor, like, which is, like, noticeable, you know what I mean? It's in my fucking living room on the fucking couch. 
I'm just sitting there fucking jerking off onto a fucking couch. What the fuck was wrong with me? That's what happens if you take Benadryl to get high. Don't do fucking drugs, kids. I just realized I should probably explain how Benadryl works. So it's like a delirium. You take a fuck ton of it. You think you're somewhere you're not. You think you're talking to people you're not. You become a literal delusional fucking Alzheimer's dementia patient. You have no fucking idea what's going on. So I very well thought that I was fucking jerking it in the room. But turns out I was fucking jerking it onto my living room couch. That's what happened. This is going to date me. But y'all remember Spice? Because I used to smoke that shit on the regular. I was 15 years old. I smoked a blunt of it. And then I got a call that I'm about to go lose my fucking virginity. Let's talk about I it. Smoke the blunt of spice. I don't know if you've ever smoked spice, but it is a hardcore psychedelic. It is not weed. It is not fake weed. It is smoking a 20 minute acid trip. It's like, I don't know. It's like if you could control yourself on salvia, that's the best way I can really explain it. So I smoked a fuck ton of spice. My girlfriend at the time calls me, Hey, my parents are gone. You should come over. Boom, bam, ka-plam. I know what that means. I'm about to get my little pinky wet. You feel me? Because at that, like, I went through puberty late, so, like, my shit wasn't really rocking like that at the time. But, like, whatever. So, fucking A, I, I get hyped up, you know? I'm like, fuck yeah! And then I'm high on the spice, so it's like... Rah! Like, that's, like, the only way I can explain it. That fucking noise is, like, how spice feels. So... I fucking begin my long trek in the Phoenix, Arizona summer. It is like 120 fucking degrees and I'm just walking over there. Uh, I'm a fucking spice robot. Uh. I get to her fucking house, right? Boom, bam, kaplam. Some sexual stuff happens. As I uh, emerge from the blankets, I let her know that <laughs> fuck. All right, sorry. Yeah. I emerge from the blankets, a new man. And I proceed to tell her. Again, I'm high as fuck off the spice, like tripping balls. I come out of the blankets and I say, I like the lips on your mouth better. Fuck! Don't do drugs. <laughs> Last story. Um, about 10 years of doing hard shit, being a very severe alcoholic, not giving a fuck about myself or my life. My teeth look like this. If you do drugs, that'll be you. Have a good day, guys.